But I came to Houston because I came to join the astronaut program. And back at that time, what I did was to be very, very interested in advanced technologies. But there was an interesting part of that in that I had just also come from West Africa where I'd worked for two and a half years as Area Peace Corps Medical Officer for Sierra Leone and Liberia. What that means is that I have been a part of some of the most advanced technologies in the world and really wonderful conditions for doing research as well as some of the most woeful kinds of conditions for human suffering. And when I looked around here in Houston, I recognized that we have a tremendous potential for being able to change those equations, both for people here in developing, uh, here in the industrialized world, as well as in developing countries. And a lot of the way the future is going to go depends on what people, like the folks here in Houston, end up doing with that potential. Then uh, I went to the Fermilab board meeting. There's a, a board, University of Chicago board, called the Fermi Research Alliance board, that, that helps advise uh, on the management of the Fermi Accelerator Laboratory. That is the last, the one single high energy physics accelerator laboratory in the country. Well, my message there is that accelerator will be shut down in about a year, and that'll be it for high energy physics experiments in this country. So all of our high energy physicists, several thousand of them, and their students and postdocs will go to CERN in Geneva to do their work. And there are no current plans in the United States to build a high energy physics accelerator. Well, whether or not you think it's important to do that, it's an important uh, signal that uh, we've given away a very important basic area of science to another part of the world. And uh, if you look more generally at the federal support of science, uh, especially physical sciences, uh, mathematics, so all fields of engineering, chemistry, physics, uh, computer science, and so forth, it's been relatively flat and losing losing ground in constant dollars over the last three decades, actually. And uh, so where did the money go? Well, it went for a lot of other important priorities for the nation. Biomedical research has done quite well until uh, the last decade, or pretty much pretty part of the last decade. But now biomedical research constitutes one half of all the federal funding for research. If you take that number, which is about $65 billion, half of that is NIH. Well, it raises a policy question. Certainly curing cancer and debilitating disease is very important. That's why NIH has that kind of budget. But there is a policy issue here because the tools you need for biomedical research and for a lot of other things that creates jobs and creates new companies do not come from biomedical research primarily. They come from chemistry, physics, engineering, mathematics, computer science, and so forth.